Happy terrific day! Hello Sycamore and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcement. Today is April 11th and hello, I'm Krish. And hello, I'm Henry. Over to Kendall for today's date. Hi, I'm Annabelle. I'm Delaney. And this is Kendall. And, and we're here with your date. Today is Thursday, April 11th. Thanks Kendall and crew. Soar with Sycamore PBIS expectations. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and as always, be a creative problem solver. Now it's time where we all be respectful and stand in unity with our fellow aviators to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Okay, what do we have for clubs and activities announcements today? Well, way to go girls track team. The girls track team placed second out of 16 teams in the Oak Hills Invitational. The aviators were led by Charlotte Busby, who won the 800 meter. Julia Staggs was second in the 400 meter. Michaela Johnson was second in the discus. Emma perez Brezena was second in the high jump, and Madison Krauss was third in the 100 meter hurdles. Way to go, both track teams. The boys placed fourth out of 16 teams. They were led by James Sunfield, who was second in the 800 meter run. Great job, aviators. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Both teams were represented by our schools so awesomely. Yes, way to go, Sycamore Junior High track. Power of the Pen. Power of the Pen club members will have practice on Monday after school from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. in Miss Huff's room. That's room 2212. Have your prompt written and ready to share. We have We're two last breaking news announcements. For all eighth grade boys and girls interested in high school cross country, will, there will be an informational meeting April 19th during flex. Please see Shomo in room 1260 for a flex pass. Junior high football. Any seventh graders interested in playing football next year, there is a meeting on, during flex bell in the Ox Gym on Friday, April 19th. Mark your calendars! Coming up next week, please note that we will not have video announcements starting tomorrow, Friday, April 11th, and all next week until we return on Tuesday, April 23rd. If you have any timely announcements, please notify the front office with your special news. Thanks, and see you again on Tuesday, April 23rd. Remember, Flight Crew has a meeting this coming Monday on April 15th. The Sycamore High School football sideline and competition squad start, tryouts start Monday, April 15th through the 18th. Good luck with tryouts. April 16th and 17th is air testing for math. Make sure to continue to get great sleep during air testing next week and know your testing location. Probably a great idea to restart your computer on Monday again to be prepared. April 18th, we will celebrate April as Autism Awareness Month. Prepare to wear blue to recognize working Recognize those working with autism challenges. April 22nd is another professional learning day, so no school for students again. Video announcements, video announcements will resume on April 23rd. And Wednesday, April 24th, is air testing for science, and that is for 8th graders only. 7th graders will stay in their testing locations and do other activities. Next, Next up, up, Character Awards! awards. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here with Mags. She is one of our esteemed custodians. Um, you, you guys have no idea how hard um, she and, and the rest of the crew work here. Um, literally from, I don't know, what time does Ms. Taylor get uh, here? 2.30 to 11 p.m. So you're here 2.30 to 11. Yes. And then our morning crew is, is here from... 6 to 2.30. 6 to 2.30. So really from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., um, this place is typically getting cleaned up and scrubbed down. So each day that you come here, um, it looks as clean as, as day one. They do a fabulous job. Um, I want to quickly talk about um, some discipline items before we get into uh, our wonderful character awards for this week. I want to just put in a quick reminder about cell phones. First of all, you guys are really doing a pretty good job with cell phones, but I do want to remind you, for those of you who just kind of need a quick reminder, what is the cell phone policy? What happens if I break the policy? So the policy is 
We don't have cell phones. Now, guys, we know you have cell phones. Um, we just don't want to see them. So make sure they are in your pocket. They should be turned off or, or in your backpack would even be better. Um, but what happens if you get caught with cell phone? First time, you do get to pick it up at the end of the day. We do let your parents know that you did have a cell phone violation and we let them know what will happen the next time. Second cell phone violation, uh, we do call your parent, we let them know, hey, this is a second cell phone violation. And again, this is for the semester. So this started over in January. Uh, your parent does need to come in and pick up your phone. And it happens every once in a while, more often than you, than you you would think where a parent will say, you know what, I'm not going to come and pick up the phone today. I will let them wait. And, and if they do let you wait, we do let you pick up your phone at the end of the next day. What happens on the third time? That is a parent pickup and an after school detention. And if we have to keep going after that, and it rarely happens. I mean, we've been having a cell phone policy here for a long, long time. And rarely do we have Fridays and Saturday schools because of cell phone. Again, you guys do a pretty good job and we certainly appreciate it. Now let's move uh, into the positive things. Yes. So uh, yep. we are here this week to do this week's character awards. Um, just a reminder, these are awards that are nominated by you. Our winners do get a shout out and they get a large two topping pizza from Papa John's. This week, uh, the nomination goes to Lilas Terabishi and it says, Lilas? You're so sweet and kind, and you inspire me to be nicer. I love to work with you in Spanish and science, and even though I only met you this year, I feel like we've become very close. You're incredibly smart and hardworking, and I admire how studious you are. I've noticed your grit and perseverance as well, as you continue to try your best at everything you do, even math homework. You have a great sense of humor, even when you don't realize what you said was funny. And you always know exactly what you say to exactly what to say to cheer someone up. You're an amazing person, and I am proud to be your friend, Lilas. That is a fantastic write-up. Um, you should be really proud of how you are being perceived by others, and you have a great uh, person yes, as well. Yes, I do. I have J.J. Fisher, Jonathan Fisher. Um, he says, "Always welcoming and kind in class." always making sure others come before himself, always can make me laugh and smile. That's and to awesome. me, that is a wonderful nomination for someone. It is. It's a great nomination, and, and JJ is also a member of our athletics, and so we're always proud um, of our athletes when they're doing the right thing in the classroom and they're doing the right thing on the athletic field. And JJ, we're, we're very impressed um, what you do in both locations. Um, this week is kind of messed up because of testing. I believe I'm going to try to go to Mr. Wolf's class on Friday, and I think Mr. Rodriguez is going to try to go to Mr. Teet's class on Friday as well because that's what we do. We go to classes, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Thank you. Wow, great work, students, and those are some wonderful acts of, wonderful acts of kindness. Way to treat others nicely. Well done. Birthdays. birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today, Sarah S. and Eli R. Hope you have a great day celebrating your special day. And celebrating until uh, the video announcements come back online are e Sophia B., Hope C., Zayard F. and C., Jordan M., Claire S., Harper Hunt, Genevi M., Logan D., Ness B., Diani W., Brayden A., Anushka M, Lillian M, Olivia L, Colin C, Chloe V, Jensen M, Namia S, Talia G, and Oliver S. And happy birthday to staff members, Principal Mr. Meyer, uh, Miss Taylor, and Miss Gates. Hope you all have a wonderful birthday celebrating your special day with family and friends. Next, Next joke, joke of the day. day. Random, Random hand. What do you call a cat that bowls? Hmm, I don't know, what? An alley cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Be the best extraordinary person you can be, Sycamore, for our PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful day, Sycamore, and... Go, go Waves! waves!